Hello champions, Miss Sutherland here again. Today's um, reading topic for Monday, March 30th is cause and effect. So let's look at the definition of cause and effect. A cause is why something happens, and the effect is what happened. So we like to use, um, one of the best words to use for cause and effect is because. So something happened because of something else. Um, the girl was crying because she got stung by a bee. Um, so we're going to take a look at some examples as we go through some cause and effect. This chart has some examples of words that you might see um, that could tell you or lead you to clues that there's cause and effect. Like I said, some of the more famous ones are because, um, since, so, therefore, there's a lot on here. Um, you might see it during the lesson today, so you can always go back and reference um, if you need some help locating cause and effect. So I have some examples here. We're going to label um, C for cause and E for effect. So for me, I like to start with the effect first. Remember, the effect is what happened and the cause is why. So sometimes it's easier to say something this happened first and because of that. So I like to do what happened first. Um, so I'm going to do the, some examples and I'm going to let you guys practice. So let's do the first one. Since school was canceled, we went to the mall. I already see a keyword here, since. Hmm. So what, what actually happened? Um, well, they went, that's an action, to the mall. That's the effect. Why did they go to the mall because school was canceled. So that's the cause. You see how I did that? I went to the what and then I asked myself why. And it should it should use this word, because. You should be able to use the word because in the middle. Now if I flipped it, if I said school was canceled was the effect why we went to the mall, that doesn't make any sense. So it's sometimes it's nice to flip it around and you can see if it actually makes sense to what you're saying. Let's try the next one. When the ocean is extremely polluted, coral reefs die. So when is a key word for cause and effect. So let's think about what happened. Well, coral reefs die will be the effect. Why do coral reefs die? Because they are polluted, okay? They wouldn't die if they weren't polluted. So same thing, you can flip it, what happened, um, if you flip it and you said oceans are extremely polluted, why? Because coral reefs die, it doesn't work. So we just want to check ourselves. Okay, I would like you to pause the video and I would like you to try to do the next three. One, two, three. So pause my video, try to see if you can label the cause and the effect and we're gonna go over it together. So pause me, and then we will come back together. Okay, I hope you paused me and had a chance to try. We're gonna check our work. Now, the first one that we're gonna go over, I had to get the mop since I spilled my juice. Since is a keyword. Let's think about first what happened. Um, this one's a little bit tricky. The what happened is in the front. What happened? Well. I had to get a mop is the effect. Then we ask ourselves, why did you have to get a mop? Well, I had to get a mop because I spilled my juice. That's the cause. Okay, so that one went from the beginning to the end. So cause and effect don't always go the same direction. You have to read it. Okay, so check to see if you got that right. If you flipped it and said, what happened? I spilled my juice. Why? Because I got a mop. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Number two, because the cat was frightened, he arched his back and fluffed his tail. Keyword here was because. Let's think about what action happened. Well, the cat arched his back and fluffed his tail was the action. Why would a cat do that? Well, a cat would do that if they were frightened. So frightened is the, um, oops, I, I need to undo that hold on so this is the effect 
and that is the cause. See, I had to check myself there. I was saying the right thing, but I wrote the wrong letter. So let's double check ourselves. So what happened? The cat arched his back. Yes, that's the effect. Why did that happen? Because the cat was frightened. All right, good, we fixed our mistake. Number three, the baby was crying, so dad picked him up. The key word was so. So let's talk about what happened. Um, hmm. So, dad picked him up would be the effect. Why would dad pick the baby up? Because the baby was crying. That's the cause. So, how'd you do? Hope you did pretty well. You can go back over and look at all of this. Remember, E stands for effect or what happened. And C stands for cause. Why did it happen? Okay, and you can even see in the word cause, like right here, has the word because. That's why we're using that. Okay, it is your turn to practice. So, I would like you to listen to the story, My Rotten Red-Headed Older Brother, on the following website, Storyline Online. I will send this website to your parents on Dojo as well. Um, and you just need to look for my rotten redheaded older brother. You can search it. Um, and you're going to listen to the story. And I would like you to look at this cause and effect chart that I have below. So let's remind ourselves that the effect is what happened. The cause is why. It even helps you there because it has the word because. And I would like you, when you're listening to the story, to fill in these three blanks. One, two, three. So, you can see that I give you the effect here, and I'd like you to find the cause. So Richard sets a record that isn't challenged for the next 10 years. What happened? Why did that happen? For the number two, I give you the cause. Trisha eats a bunch of raw rub rubbered. And I want to see what happened before that. Like, why did she eat that? Something happened. And then I give you for number three, um, Trisha spits between two fingers and slaps her chest. She did that. Why did she do that? So those are the three question marks I'd like you to find. Um, again, I'd like you to keep track of this somewhere. So in a notebook, on a piece of paper, um, bring it to our zoom lesson on Tuesday at 10 a.m. We're going to go over these answers, see if you guys had any questions on cause and effect. The nice thing is you can re-watch my video if you need to. Um, you can also re-watch Rotten Red-Headed Older Brother as many times as you'd like to try to find those answers. If you have questions, message me on Dojo or I'll see you on Zoom the next day. Good luck, champions!